non-violence, so don't believe in violence, it's not the right way to achieve solutions. Of course we can have demonstrations. Can we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't. Take a load of it. Uh, Eva, maybe we can close the door. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, so, welcome to the bridge um, at the Arctic Sunrise. My name is Boo, and this is Salim. Uh, we are two of the deckhands on board. Um, over there, we will see Eva, who is our second mate. Uh, right. um, yeah, so where have you been so far? You've been to the, to the heli deck, yes. uh, so the bow of the ship. Um, and I presume that they've told you a bit about the, uh, about the, uh, the, the rolling of the ship, right? being an ice pass. Um, I might just expand on that a little bit more. Uh, yeah, this, um, this ship that is probably the biggest uh, noticeable thing in this ship is that she, is, uh, she has no keel, that she has a rounded bottom shape. So that means that she's, uh, she's very well suited to, to the ice, it's designed to rock backwards and forwards between the ice sheets. But she can also ride up onto the ice mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. break it because yeah, so she has a rounded front as well. But the major consequence of this is seasickness. Uh, uh, it happens to almost everyone. Like if you've been sailing for years, if you're a captain, if you're an old sort, or if you're a deck animal classes, it, it really does happen. And it's the sort of ship where you've just got to you know, go outside and do your business and come back in and keep, your, keep doing your job. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's pretty severe. It can, um, it's been known to roll. Uh, well, luckily we haven't seen uh, we haven't seen very heavy water. Selena and I have been on board for about one and a half months, uh, and we saw a bit of choppy seas out in out in the Baltic between Cape but nothing too serious. But some of the other crew who are on board at the moment, who we might meet later, um, have been telling us stories of when they've been on board, and uh, we have a an instrument here that can tell the degree to which the ship is rolling. This just dot here rolls up there, and they've seen it roll up to 70. And that's the maximum that this instrument can do, so maybe it was over. But um, they tell us the stories that uh, <coughs> when you see the inflatable boats on the side of the ship, uh, when the uh, when they hit the water like that, and that's going to come back up again. And, uh, or don't come back up again because they didn't crash them enough because they didn't expect them to be hitting the water and then the boat's all hanging loose and of course it's going to <laughs> And then the boat's all shouting, all hands on deck! Here we call hold because I think we keep many things here. Uh, we have this, this hex on top of the, of the boat. It can open like this. And then we can put the stuff here, like the containers and the boat and uh, the helicopter if you need. We have also a helicopter lift. It's under the boat now. It's this square here. It, it can go up and then the helicopter can uh, land on this platform and then we can put the helicopter inside the ship.